Many times on our homestead, I receive emails and phone calls from companies or small businesses or even corporate companies that wish for us to do a review of their product. Today on our YouTube channel, we are doing just that. We are reviewing a product that a company has sent to us. Now, the first thing you should know is that while we receive products um, in exchange for an honest review of them, we do not share a product with you if we don't feel that it's a good fit. So in other words, we don't take on a product review if we don't feel like it's actually truly beneficial to our viewers and readers. We are not being monetarily paid to do this review and we were sent this product in exchange to do an honest review and to share it with our viewers. Please note that this is our honest review of this particular product and we hope that you'll enjoy it. We know that not every single one of our viewers will benefit from this, but we know that a lot of people will and that's why we are sharing it. So we hope you enjoy this product review. Here we go. All right, PrepareWise emailed me a couple of weeks ago and they were talking about some new programs that they have, but they were really interested in getting us this bug out bag. Um, this is a bug out kit and they have different versions of the bug out bag that they can, they can give you, you can buy. Um, this is the two-person premium bug out bag. I specifically asked for the two-person because there are two adults in this family. And so I wanted to see, as with most families, so I wanted to really see what this was like for the two-person bug out bag. I especially wanted to see how heavy it was. Um, now this bug out bag, I will tell you it is heavy. We, when we do reviews, we use the product as much as we can. Um, you know, this product is hard to use because we're not in a bug out situation and we want to save it for when we do or have, might be in a bug out situation. Um, but we've used this, I've tested it, I've tested the durability of it, I have tested the comfort of it, and I have gone through every product that's in here. As you'll see, some of the stuff is kind of scrambled about, um, but I try to put it back to the best of my ability. So I'm going to show this to you really quickly. So the first thing you're going to see with this bug out bag is this right here. This is actually a tent. Um, I know a lot of people are concerned in a, in a really quick crisis situation or bug out situation. They might not be able to have a quick shelter that evening or that day. So this comes with a tent that really kind of helps you ease your mind. This straps right onto the top. I'm actually going to go ahead and take this tent off so you can see some of the other stuff. The next part of the next thing I noticed, the very next thing actually that my husband noticed when we got this bag <clears throat> is this little hole right here. And for him, this was really important. This little hole actually goes to the compartment back here, this whole compartment. And it houses, it'll, it will house, it actually comes in the bug out bag, a water bladder. A water bladder is a, a way for you to house water in your backpack. And then a tube comes out here and you're able to carry it on your backpack and drink water at the same time. Now when you get the backpack, it's actually these straps are going to come inside here. I'm going to stuff them inside there really quickly so you can see the back of the backpack. <clears throat> this is something that was important to me as a woman because this is a very heavy backpack. Um, I, you really kind of need support on your body. So these are foam supports that help not have all that pressure on your back and hips. And then there is a waist support. This straps around your waist. And then you've got some other stuff here that you can work with. And then up here you have your straps and this comes with a chest support. So a little chest hookup that, so you, you know, you've got the whole thing and these of course strap over here, right here. And so you've got all that body support here. That's really important when you're carrying a bag that's this heavy. So it really becomes part of your body the way that they've structured it. And then you also have handles on the side and on the top to carry the bag. When we first got this bag, I was really concerned with the durability of it. 
Whenever I see a backpack, I'm always concerned about the zippers not being good quality or something like that. In fact, we just recently bought military grade backpacks. Um, and what we're going to do is split this up in between the two backpacks. However, you don't need to. This backpack, we've tested it. Um, you know, we've pulled on it and yanked on it. And because we did have the other backpacks, we could do that. Um, this is a durable backpack. Okay, it gets the job done. There's different compartments here. And there's uh, extra buckles. There's compartments in the front with little spaces for you. And the next compartment is just an empty compartment you can put things into. But now we're going to get into the contents of the bag. This is the main part right here. I'm going to go ahead and open this up so you can see it. Okay. There's a compartment right here for you. And you can technically stick your water bladder up here, um, but you can stick it in the back compartment as well, I think. Okay. So here's the bag. The first thing you're gonna see when you get your bag is this emergency preparedness book. It also comes with a little pencil. This is an incredible book to have because PrepareWise created these bucket bags mostly for a natural disaster situation um, and you know that can be something that affects everyone so this emergency preparedness book it shows you what do you do in winter storms what do you do in earthquakes what do you do if you're stranded in your vehicle okay these bug out bags are great to take with you throw them in your car that's why we got separate bags to well we already have some bug out bags but we always like to have extra and the two new backpacks we got, because our other backpacks weren't durable at all, um, we can take these and we can keep them in our vehicles. So I can have one in mine with an extra pair of boots. Mark can have one in his. And then we can have one, an extra one in both for Junior, depending on who he's with. Um, before I go through these contents, this is just, these are the basics, okay? Your family is different, so you're going to have different needs and things that you need to consider for a bug out bag. I'm not going to get into all of that right now because this is a product review, but I am going to mention some things. Um, medicines. Uh, obviously, this bug out bag doesn't know what kind of medicines you need. Um, having that extra on hand is important. Having canned foods to take with you, even if it's just a couple of cans of soup to take with you, is important. Now, this bag does come with a Coast Guard quality food, um, emergency food package but um, it's only gonna last you for a couple days, so. All right, so the next thing you're gonna see is this bug out tools kit, okay? I'm gonna show you what it comes with. Keep in mind, this is a two person bug out bag, so there's two of most things. So you've got two glow sticks, some duct tape, because who doesn't need duct tape? An emergency whistle and this actually comes with a compass as well and they say this is a five-in-one whistle I'm gonna show you so you can store stuff in here it's all kinds of cool things and well, let me hear it yeah it's definitely an emergency one. I'm not gonna blow it that well a deck of cards because you're gonna get bored if you're bugged out can opener I think there's another can opener in here too and a multi tool pair of gloves there's also another pair of gloves in here in a different bag. And then you have your multi-tool. So this has knives, has a screwdriver, has a corkscrew. I mean, who doesn't already have one of these? But this is awesome because it's in your bug out kit. And then you don't have to remember to take it with you. So those are all the cool things that are in your bug out tools portion of the bag. It also comes with five millimeter rope in that bag. I forgot. See, I told you I had already went through all this stuff and forgot to put it back in the right bag. Okay, next here is your water bladder. Okay, just want to make sure. I'm not opening this because I want it to stay as sanitary as possible. Here's what your water bladder looks like. You actually unfold it. Here's the, the tube and straw that comes up through here. Next, you have two reflective blankets. These work. We've actually tried these firsthand. These are actually a little bit better than the ones that we tried. We bought some off Amazon because we like to know if things work. 
and um, and they work, y'all. They work. They keep you warm. Next is your little heating and utensil kit. Um, this comes with two utensils. See that? So there's a fork on this end, a spoon on this end, and then the fork doubles as a knife. And then you have these two heating and thermal elements. These only last four hours, but if you're worried about a fire, you can use one at a time, and it can heat up your food, uh, or it can keep you a little bit warm. Then it comes with this little heat element here. To cook on, you will need, which this is brilliant because I didn't think about this in a bug out kit because I guess I'm more of a survivalist than a bug outer. Um, I just thought of ways to use natural things to cook on, but this comes with a mountain meal kit system. So this comes with your pot and a top and a bowl. You know, it's got, it's awesome. It even comes with, you know, a cleaning area to clean it off with and a sponge. So that's really important. And it fits in this bag. Okay, next is, this is your warming station, okay? <laughs> but it has hand warmers, it has these two hand warmers. It has two ponchos. And then it has two of these um, thermal sleeping bags. So not only do you have the thermal heat blankets, but you have the thermal sleeping bags, which is really important. This is a small, small miscellaneous kit. This comes with your emergency candles. They Each candle burns for three and a half hours, and this contains six candles. It also comes with matches. Matches are really important if you need to start a fire, okay? There's that. Then you have your tactical kit. You have, I'll open this for you. You have your other pair of gloves that I was telling you about. You have a paracord bracelet, which is very important. You have this super duper awesome handy, it's one of those credit card knife tools. Those are cool. Comes with batteries, because you need batteries for your tactical flashlight. This is a cool flashlight too. I'm not putting the batteries in it, but I do want to show you the flashlight, because it's like heavy duty hardcore, y'all. Check that thing out. All right, next comes your emergency multi-tool. This is a really cool tool. It's a shovel, a hoe, a pick, a saw edge, hammer, bottle opener, nail puller, wrench, compass, and it has a waterproof compartment. And I will show you because it's not enough to see the box. So this is a very small, compact system with a lot of benefit, and it also has a belt loop pole, okay? So not only is it going to be in your bag, but it's going to be on your belt loop too if you need it to. Okay. I'm not going to take all of this out because I don't want to ruin everything. It also comes with matches in here, which is really important. Here's your tool. Here's your handle. And here's your compass on the end. Okay. You can see shovel, saw, all kinds of fun stuff there. Nail puller. It labels everything for you. So it has, here's your hatchet edge, here's your nail puller, here's your saw edge, but they have another cool tool in here, which I'm going to show you, which will be better for you with the saw. Just hold on. That is my favorite tool out of the whole bag, <laughs> because it's just super cool. It is this awesome saw. And listen, that's a weapon too. Isn't it? That's an awesome saw. That is super cool. So you can make your own shelter if your tent fails or if you need help making a shelter. This is a really awesome tool to have on hand. Not something I would have considered for my bug out bag. All right, next we're gonna, this is just the first aid kit. I'm not gonna open this and show you because I wanna keep everything in here sanitary. Um, but this comes with just your basic first aid stuff, okay? Uh, gauze pads, sterilization, things like that that kind of help you wraps. Now you get into your food. I let me just say because I know someone's gonna say it. This this bug out bag, it's a bug out bag. It doesn't take place of food storage. It doesn't pl take place of your water sanitization. It doesn't take place of that stuff. This is just a bag where if you are in a situation where you need to get up and you need to leave, 
you grab this bag and you go to start all over wherever you're going to. This is so important. Now we have the Sawyer water filtration system in our bug out bags currently, the ones that we have, uh, because it has the carbon filter so it lasts a long time. But for people who are in a suburban area or urban area who just don't think about this stuff or who just want a quick bug out bag, this is important. And even if you are like us, this is emergency purified drinking water. Okay, I'm going to read the back of this to you because it's really important. And not only is it water, it has directions in an emergency situation. It says directions for use. The first 24 hours do not drink any water, only if you're injured or sick. Therefore, use two bags per person per day. Avoid conditions which cause sweating or increased thirst. Discard bag if air or water escapes when squeezed or manufacturing date exceeds five years. This water is sanitized for five years okay and then it says use SOS food ration to obtain lowest body water requirement and that comes next here is your SOS emergency food ration this is government grade food ration this is what you're gonna find in emergency situation um, when they don't have food <laughs> and these are the bars that they're gonna hand out I believe there are 12 bars in each one. Let me read real quick. Oh, nine. Nine bars in each one. Sorry. Each packet of nine fortified food bars provides 3,600 calories, offers maximum survival capacity with drinking water restriction under all environmental conditions. Eat three food bars per person per day, replaced within five years of the manufacturing date. So the manufacturing date is on the back, which is June 2016, so it's a fairly new manufacturing package. And then it has an expiration date of May 2021. So this is a good bug out bag to just throw in a closet and say, okay, I know this is good for five years. And in five years, then I consider, or, you know, four and a half years, then I consider, you know, replacing this, this stuff. The only things you're going to have to replace are the water and the food ration. Everything else is stuff that you could really survive off of and really help you survive. So you've got your food. You've got, now when I say food, again, it's not taking place of your food storage. It's an emergency situation. Um, again, you need to consider your family. This bag has more room where you can add more stuff to it. Throw some cans of soup in there. Throw, don't throw can, glass cans, okay? <laughs> don't throw glass jars in here. Because you're not going to be able to take those with you. They will bust open. Um, it has your, your emergency medical supply. It has your flashlight. It has your paracord. It has your water bladder. It has your candles. It has your heating element and your utensils. I'm just showing you how all this stuff goes back in here. Sleeping bags and ponchos. Your reflective blankets. Your emergency saw tool that I showed you, which can also double as a weapon. Your light sticks. Your gloves. Your multi-tool. Your cord. First aid kit. Your mountain meal kit, which I'm going to put back here. And then your emergency preparedness booklet, which keep on hand at all times because you might need it. And then this just sticks right up with a little help. See, I didn't pack it as often as they did, but it's still not that hard to package up. And you're done. So there is your emergency bug out kit. <clears throat> Comes with your tent too, don't forget. Now here's the obvious part of all of this. Clearly if you're a hardcore homesteader and prepper, you probably already have something like this. Or maybe you've learned some new things. Maybe you thought, hey, that's a good tool to have. Or, hey, that's a good idea. I didn't think about putting that in my bug out bag. I'm thinking that this bug out bag is more for the people who need something quick. So families in suburban areas, people who live in urban areas like Washington, D.C. Or who live in an apartment complex who don't necessarily have the means to have the ability to go and get bug out stuff. Um, who just need, you know, they're going to be staying there. They're not planning on homesteading anytime soon, at least not on a large scale. This bug out bag, I know there's a lot of you like that out there. This bug out bag's for you. 
Okay, this bug out bag is, is an incredible source to get you started. Now, with that said, this particular bag, it's the two person bag, don't forget. This bag costs around $300. Um, but you have to consider everything that you're, you're getting. I'm not trying to sell this to you. I'm just giving you the information on it. it comes with a tent. Okay. You can't even buy a tent for less than $60, uh, or more. Um, it comes with your food ration for a couple of days. It comes with your water ration for a couple of days. These are for two people now, not just one person. It comes with heating utensils. Uh, it comes with matches. It comes with multiple tools to use. A saw it comes with um, a shovel and a hatchet, and um, it comes with your medical emergency medical kit. All those fun things in it that are really beneficial to you in a bug out bag. Um, all in one backpack includes the backpack with it. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Um, now there are some things I would consider adding to this. Again, you need to think about your emergency situation for your family. Um, obviously, like I said before, if you're going to just keep this at home, that's great. But what about, um, if you're in a vehicle and you get stranded somewhere, which was in that emergency booklet, what if you get stranded? This backpack is meant to take with you wherever you go. And that might be hard for some people and we get that. Um, so you can have little mini bug out bags till you get back home. There are just different things that you can do uh, to help you with with bugging out. Um, now there are some things like I said I would add to this. For me personally I would add some cans of soup like I said. Uh, that's just me personally. Um, I would also add there's not the one thing that people re regret to think about and bug out situations is what about medicine okay I'm not talking about pharmaceuticals either obviously that's your responsibility of things that you need to get in check with pharmaceuticals but something that you can buy and throw in that bag and forget about it there aren't many medicines like that and if you're holistic and living like we are then what's the first thing that comes to mind the first thing that comes to mind to me are dried herbs and essential oils. doTERRA, I'm going to just rep here for a second because that's who I rep for, um, they actually have a family physician's kit that has all the most important oils when it comes to health in that kit. And you can get it for fairly inexpensively. But the best thing about it is you have a kit, it's a box, shove it down that bag and forget about it. You have those oils to take with you. On top of that though, I highly suggest taking dried herbs with you. There's a whole three more compartments on here to fit all that stuff into. The reason I suggest the Family Physicians Kit uh, is because the doTERRA creators of that kit are actually preppers themselves and therefore um, they know what they're talking about. So that's a, that's a kit you can buy and I'll leave that link below and throw in one of these bags um, because you are going to need medicine, holistic medicine at least because pharmacies are going to be shut down in a bug out situation. So. Overall, what's my review on this bag? I like the bag. I think it's perfect. We are really excited about this bug out bag because now we have another source of bug out. Um, we have a bug out kit for home. This is going to be our home one. And then we have other little bags that we keep in our vehicles. If we're, you know, my husband works sometimes 100 miles away from, from home and he needs a bug out kit to take with him. So that's what he does. Um, we have individual ones, but this one will be our home one where we can just pick it up and take it with us if we're somewhere, uh, if we're at home and need to get somewhere. So, I love the bag, love the durability of the bag, love, 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 love the tent option, love all the other options that are in here, and um, I think it's a good investment into your, if you're wanting to get into survival and being prepared, and especially if you are a modern homestead or a suburban uh, family that doesn't isn't necessarily homesteading but they are really wanting to get into preparedness this is a great option for you if you're not interested in a bug out kit we have a review coming up in the next week about a survival um, sanitation bug in kit which includes uh, a way to sanitize water gives you information on that it even has a little potty cardboard potty that comes with bags that you can use um, so that kind of goes hand in hand with this again from preparewise.com so I thought some of you might want to see the option on that as well. So I'll try to get that up either this week or next week. Um, I'm going to leave links to all this information below. So if you want to check it out, please do. If you have questions, ask them. If you have suggestions, ask them because we're all here to help each other. Not to tell each other what to do. 
not to make anyone feel you know inferior but to help each other on this journey to being prepared and homesteading naturally so that's it for me today guys hope you have a great day and happy homesteading